Aries, I'm doing a quick video for the rest of November. Um, we're going to draw out of a few different decks, get a quick message. There's not much of an intro. I um, really thought um, to finish looking at November before even jumping into December, right? Um, okay. I'm starting with uh, a few cards that are like planets and south node, north node, and here we are, north node for you. So for me, that's pointing out to your vocation, to something that uh, you're, you excel at, that you were placed here on earth to do, something meaningful, something that means something to you as well, something that really resonates with who you are at your core. Uh, you might feel that calling really, really strongly in the next few weeks. Um, for some reason, I'm thinking you do know what you want, what you like. It's just a matter of taking action, maybe. But we'll see what the tarot really says about that. North Node always requires a little bit of an effort on your part to actually... Um, move towards something that is um, of a higher calling, right? Uh, it's not always comfortable, so it does require more effort on your part. But it's so gratifying. <laughs> okay, you've got a, too many, <laughs> like, I don't know, like a huge pile, so I'm going to put them back. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do pop outs because I really want just a few cards as a quick message. As I say that, three come out. So three is good. Let's look. Wow. You have the sun in reverse. The three of pentacles in reverse. But the ace of pentacles upright at the end. Well, I mean, it's just a matter of a small delay here. But uh, it feels like the promised land here with that Ace of Pentacles shining so brightly. And I want to show you something. It's it's really incredible. I can't help myself. You have to look at the visual of this. You know, the sunshine is here and the Ace of Pentacles is up here. And it it's like so amazing that like, it's almost like the sun is rising. So it's like it's low on the horizon here. And then it would cross over and then at noon, at the highest point, it would like reach the top of the sky. So for me, it really shows like this direction that you're taking in terms of the North Node journey. Really, really going for that. Um, I want to say glory, but you can take it as you want, right? It's not necessarily fame and, and real glory. It could, but I mean, the point is, it's about attaining your own... Um, X, you know, like your own pinnacle, your the place where you're really meant to be and doing what you need to be doing, right? So, and which brings you the most success. And the this the, um, the way I'm intending to, uh, or excuse me, what I mean to say about success, it's or my definition of success in this context is. what truly makes you happy, what brings you the most joy, what makes you feel the most accomplished, what makes you feel like you have a purpose, you know, like, and then comes the rest, right? If, if obviously you make money, if um, you get attention, etc., 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 that's fine. But in, the end game here is, is mostly like what you really do in terms of realizing yourself right so the three of pentacles in the in the middle there it's in reverse right so there's a little bit of a wobble here about are you working on a team how are you collaborating how much of um how much of your craft is really like required um what uh, things are you crafty about, you know, in terms of 
this particular mission, right? So do the things uh, or were the things that you were doing prior required for this journey or for the next um, level of your journey or whatever, you, however you want to picture it, right? So something about that might be changing. Like which skill set and what you actually do and how you collaborate and with whom that might be changing, right? So there's something to note here. Overall, it's extremely positive. There's a bit of a delay with the sun in reverse. There's a little bit of um, almost insecurity, but it's because it's not a comfortable journey with the North Node. It's It requires that you do things you don't normally do. Hence why also you're using different skills than you were prior that were familiar. All of that is tied in. But honestly, you're in the right direction. Um, you're you're going to be starting something new uh, very soon. Very soon. I'm hearing like 2000 beginning of 2023 like as early as as early as january maybe because it's it's an ace i'm thinking the first month but i mean that's just it doesn't have to be right <clears throat> it might take a little longer to put in place i'm gonna draw out of my make makeshift deck it's it's french deck i'm gonna translate it it's just one, one card it's one word this is super exciting in terms of uh knowing you're embarking on a on a very personal journey here especially with the sun card i drew two cards it's really interesting one says "cracma" is like something that cracks um and then son is sound. It feels like lightning because you know that the a crackling sound, you know, like lightning can sometimes sound like something like <laughs> could also be like I'm hearing like I'm thinking <laughs> and hearing not that I'm hearing real sounds here but crackling noise like on a phone line you know like when it's not well um, hooked or something like it's crackly like that or also like the snow on a screen like if the video is not good so there's something about communication and I think that's the delay there's something here about interference literally maybe that's the three of pentacles in reverse as well some form of interference I'm not necessarily sensing that it's people blocking you but it's it's more of a I'm hearing like a detour mini detour same applies it delays on the sun and sun card in reverse so there's something about almost like if we're talking about sound, right, um, and we, we're we looking at your own journey, um, self-actualization and that kind of, of thing, and probably linked to a, a job and a career because, or a project, something that you really um, actively do and that you, that is actually manifest in, and is fully you, right? That represents you, that embodies uh, your talents. It might have to do with your speaking ability. It might have to do with the fact that what you have to put out there is being delayed or takes a little more time to, to actually get through. It could also be the, 
the crackling or the cracking could be the skill sets that you actually have to like leave behind the ones that you have to not that you would never use them again but the ones they're just not what you need to do or be doing at the for the next phase kind of thing anyway overall it's super positive and i think it has to do with your expression because the sun card wouldn't be here if it wasn't about and linked to the sun right like it would be how you express yourself eventually it'll be lucrative you have to know that with the the ace of pentacles it's about a job it's about a career it's it's literally about a career it could be also a new industry It's new and it, it takes you out of your comfort zone, that's for sure. Anyways, you'll get an inkling of this right before the end of the month. That's for sure. That's, that was the whole point of the reading. It's something very clear for you. In terms of getting uh, started or uh, being put in place, um, December is like the month. Maybe that's where there's interference or there's like just a little bit of a, I said the word wobble before. Um, but I think January, you see the sun. Uh, I mean, I know this is not the sun card. I'm just thinking about how I imagine the sun being higher up in the sky. So it's now above the horizon. So now there's more... Almost like there's more room to be more yourself, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, that's the message tonight. So make the most out of it because this is extremely auspicious. I love this for you. Thank you so much, Aries, for being here. Please like the video, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon.